Hey guys, CrooksJT here, and today I've got a quick video showcasing a tool that I never knew existed. It's called Copilot, and it's a tool that helps you plan your landings to get faster drops by calculating the right time to jump from the bus and pull out your glider. This is something that Tfue apparently used to get a faster landing back in the Grotto Wars between his jaw and chaps, and I only just found out about it thanks to my Discord. Apparently it's been out for quite a while, but I've just never heard about it. And what I tend to find is if I haven't heard about something, then there's definitely other people who haven't either. There's a link in the description if you'd like to join my Discord to get any Fortnite advice and ask questions or you want help planning your own drops or anything like that, so make sure to take a look. And if you enjoy this video, then make sure to use code CROOKS in the item shop and let's get right into it. So first of all, this tool is available down at the link in the description for you to take a look. And how it works is when you get into the lobby before a game starts, you basically want to open your map and take a look at the bus path. And then we're going to draw out the path that you've been given on the browser map. I do this on my second monitor. But if you don't have one, you can also get it as a download for your phone if you prefer it to having the tab out. What you do is you basically move the circles to change where the path goes. You can flip the bus path entirely and you can click on the left here to draw it manually between two points and be more accurate. So we're just going to line up the bus path. Then once you've got that done, you want to click where it is you want to land and press find fastest route down at the bottom. This will then tell you firstly when you need to deploy and secondly at what point you should be aiming for. So this second point is where you want to actually point your body towards and you want to be pulling out your glider with the 100 meter auto deploy at this point and this should give you the lowest drop possible. This is a really good tool if you're dropping somewhere you don't know all the bus paths for and you don't want to waste any points. Maybe you're with a new trio and you don't know the drop and don't want to look like a fool. Or now that loot is so hard to find, it is just a big advantage anyway if you can get on the ground first and cover a larger area before other people can. In my experience so far, I really wasn't expecting this to make much of a difference, but I've found the tool to be accurate and helpful. I didn't fully trust it at first, but I've found it to be a much more accurate judge of the drop than I am, especially for areas of the map that I tend not to land at. Maybe I'm just not a good lander, but I found myself consistently being one of the first to land at the POI, which isn't something I'm used to. I was worried that it wasn't going to factor in elevation changes for areas with a steep drop, but I've used it all over the map, including Stark Industries, which is just the steepest drop in the game, and it's handled it great. There's even a second tool if you click on this button at the bottom left of the screen, which allows you to calculate the distance between different areas of the map. If you put down one point, you can see how long it would take you to make any rotation to anywhere else on the map. I haven't used this too much, but I can imagine it would be useful if you're in a tournament and say you're planning on how long you need to make a long rotation around Storm to get on dead side or something similar. So give this one a try and see how it works for you. Alright guys, if you find these tools helpful, then be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you've stayed this far, then help support the channel by liking the video and subscribing. Hope you have a great day and goodbye for now.